Hello Ace fans, Insight Narc returns with the episode that will be covering the Contra Costa County Clash coming up this Saturday at Antioch Speedway in Antioch, California. It's going to be the third race of the 2024 campaign. We've got a great lineup of guests and we'll get into it right now. Well, Jim Allen, general manager of the NARC 410 series, it is race day on Saturday, the Contra County Clash at, no, Contra Costa County Clash. I, I knew I was going to screw it up there. Uh, this coming Saturday, Antioch Speedway. Uh, yep, we finally, uh, appears that we're going to finally be able to go racing. I didn't want to, you know, jinx it and look at the weather kennel too early or anything like that, but, uh, we're looking like uh, we're going to have some temperatures like 85 to 90 degrees, which means we are racing and uh, we get to return to a track that we had a fantastic show at last year. I mean, uh, the place was packed, had a great car count. And uh, if my memory strikes me right, I think Dominic Selzy and uh, Corey Day got into a slug fest after Joey Ancona led the first few laps of the race. And uh, Everybody left there entertained, wanting uh, wanting even more. So we're back again. It's definitely an awesome place, and and a, and it's one of those deals where they don't run a lot of wing sprint car racing there. It's only you know two times at the most, maybe three. And I mean, it can be some enjoyable action. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So it's a three eighths mile. I keep, you know every time I think about it, it's like, oh, it's only a quarter mile, but no, it's actually a three eighths, and it's a perfect size track for sprint cars to, to wind them up and but it still has that uh, bull ring feel to it you know it's got that concrete wall around the outside and um, whatever it, it's, it's a great it's a great sprint car track and uh, you know if we had some more Saturdays on our race schedule we definitely would go back there a few more times uh, they've asked for more race dates but um, uh, and it's a good thing I mean NARC in the King of the West series is in high demand these days. Yeah, that's always, always a good thing. And, and a cool storyline for last year as well is uh, Joe Ancona, you mentioned him, led some laps. He, he he grabbed the pole through the Trophy Dash win. And I know talking to him uh, earlier this week, he's he is fired up to try and try and get the win. He ended up third that race. And he's confident that, you know, if everything goes the right way, that the 88A team could could get a win, which would be, I think, a really big win. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Sort of, uh, it's kind of strange how this thing works, you know, where, you know, he considers that, you know, uh, you know, he lives 15, 20 minutes away and considers that to be, you know, like a home, uh, home field advantage or home track advantage, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, just like all the other sports, you know, you win more at home than you do on the road. Uh, but, you know, I think he's, you know, it really fits his, uh, driving style. And, uh, you know, we got a few other drivers, you know, that are, you know, locals like, uh, you know, Billy Aton and Dylan Bloomfield. And, you know, they are, uh, I don't know, maybe you drive differently when you don't have to sit in your hauler for, you know, driving for two or three hours to a racetrack or something. But, yeah, they're, they're all excited. And, you know, and if Joey and Kona won a race, I would not be, uh, would not be surprised. I mean, uh, he's got a ton of talent, absolute ton of talent. Uh, wish he could race with us full time, but, uh, guarantee one thing when he shows up, he's somebody that you're going to contend with. And, um, yeah, like that wouldn't be surprised if he, uh, adds his name to the NARC winners list before the year's over. Maybe it's something where you get a few extra hours of sleep and you can just kind of lounge about the house before you got to head, head into the transport to the track. Maybe, maybe that's what it is. But, um, you mentioned Dylan Bloomfield last year. Also, that was a very special weekend for that team. Um, for the Bloomfield family and, you know, uh, you know, his mom, uh, being there and that was just an emotional moment for so many people. And then what was cool is his prom date showed up, you know, must've, must've put a hit on him or something, wound up at the races in the prom dress. Oh yes, absolutely. I'm uh, glad you brought that up. That was good. I mean, yeah, the whole, uh, yeah. So you had, uh, Shannon who was basically five months, uh, out of, uh, that horrific uh, accident that they had coming out of uh, Merced. And I mean, a woman who's lucky to be alive and lucky that she can, uh, for that matter, you know, walk and do daily functions. And then uh, with Antioch, then I mean, uh, Dustin, uh, um, you know, Dylan's dad was actually working the tractor at Antioch. Uh, you know, he kind of knew what we needed for sprint car racing. And 
uh, I guess he just kind of jumped on there and, and made it work. And then, yeah, I was walking through the pits and I was like, wow, we got some, the trophy girl looks pretty nice tonight. And then I realized <laughs> <Yeah>. that was, <laughs> I realized that was Dylan's uh, uh, prom date there. So, uh, you know, whatever family goes on, life goes on, whether we're at the racetrack or not. And uh, so, yeah, a, a family event. And like, yeah, like I said earlier, he's, you know, he's 20 minutes so away from there also. And, uh, you know, they're looking, uh, you know, I mean, the Bertullo team and, uh, you know, all the sponsors that they've hustled up. I mean, they're looking, uh, they're looking to get uh, stand in that number one spot at the end of the night sometime in the very near future. And, and I'm glad that you brought that up with, uh, with Dustin, you know, helping out in Antioch and everything is, Antioch Speedway itself is, I think, since 2020, since the Chadwicks took it over, and this isn't anything bad to anybody had operated previously, but they've just, they've just put so much love and and care in that place, and I really feel like it's it, it's a hidden gem. No, oh, absolutely, yeah. He is. Uh, uh, they have worked on it, and uh, when they originally got control of the track, they. You know, we, we uh, inquired about having a race there, and you know, Chad says, you know, I'm not ready. It, it needs it needs some work. It needs some love, and uh, you know, and, and you know, not to pick on anybody, but some promoters will say that, and then you you go there three years later, and uh, you know, wow, there's there's a new roll of uh, paper towels in the bathroom, and not much <laughs> else has changed, right? Uh, but no, he's stepped up, and you know, I mean, the pit area there used to be just loaded with old vehicles and just stuff that just kind of got in the way, clean that up, got the infield dressed up. And, uh, you know, he's still, they're still actively working at it. And it's a good thing. Every time a promoter, you know, I mean, it takes money and, and time to make those things happen. And every time there's a improvement at a racetrack, uh, you know, me, you, you definitely get two thumbs up from me. Well, uh, going away from Antioch for just a little bit, Obviously, unfortunately, last weekend not able to happen. But there's good news. There's some silver lining in that cloud. Is the Chris and Brian Free Memorial at Thunderbolt Raceway? It has been rescheduled. There has been a date that's been landed on to where that race will happen. Uh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, God, I got tired of scrubbing races from our schedule. You know, we didn't call that race until Thursday. We were trying to hold out to the last possible second, hoping that it would not rain. And at the time, uh, you know the and I guess, you know, Steve, Bria, Josh, we were, Josh Miller, we were talking and you know, said, I don't have any open Saturday nights or anything. And, you know, he said, I don't want to lose this race. You know, I, I really want you guys at my track. And I said, I do too. And then sure enough, on Saturday, uh, they decided, said, well, you know what? We're just going to uh, tag team here. We're going to have a dual show with the Sprint Car Challenge Tour on October 12th. And that's the weekend before the Trophy Cup. So it's kind of a trophy cup tune-up, and then and, uh, the Chris and Brian Freya Memorial all kind of rolled into one, and hey, to get uh, our couple races in at Tulare. So that's a great thing, and you know, and next weekend uh, at, on the May nineteenth, you know, we had Tony in the city who's taking a Sunday Twilight show. So you know, the whole idea. Hopefully, we can get in twenty three or twenty four races here before the season's over. Absolutely. The, the more the merrier. And I know that everyone is chomping at the bit. They're probably uh, chewed through their fingernails and on their fingertips. And uh, I mean, that it that's that's putting it lightly. Guys are ready to go. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and I think ultimately what happens too, I think the racing gets better too. I think once all these teams start getting into a routine and, you know, they know, you know, that we're doing this on a certain day or a certain time and you know, they start racing, you know, back-to-back weekends, uh, you know, they, they get more, you know, they get in the uh, proverbial Michael Jordan zone and, every, you know, the shows get better. So uh, we, you know, we hopefully can string a whole lot of those together because, I mean, what, we have 13, I don't know, 13 or 14 races in the next uh, 50 days. So let's, uh, let's go racing. I'm ready. No doubt. This weekend, Antioch Speedway, it's the place to be on a Saturday night for the Contra Costa County Clash. There we go. We'll see you there. Well, Dylan Bloomfield, Antioch Speedway, a home game for you guys. Uh, you, you guys, for you, the driver, you don't have to travel very far to, to go to the Contra Costa County Clash. Um, this racetrack last year put on a heck of a race, and, and for you, um, it's got to be nice to have a home game. Yeah, it's super nice. Only 
really 10, 15 minutes away from home. So, uh, not a far drive for us. And, uh, last year was a heck of a race. So I'm excited to get there and, um, hopefully any y'all can, uh, get the track prep right and get that big old curb that we had for qualifying in the main event and have a really good race. And even the crowd last year, man, that was probably one of the biggest crowds I've seen in Antioch, let alone maybe even a narc race. The stands were full and, um, yeah, it was pretty cool. And my girlfriend came last year uh, from prom. So had a girlfriend in a dress and it was, it was definitely pretty cool. Prime living, prime living for sure. And and not just a home game for you and your family, but you've got a, an enormous amount of sponsors and so much of them are from the East Bay Delta area. So for them to see you on display, it's got to feel great to feel that support just close to home. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we've got quite a few right around here. And um, Chris McGoon with everyone heating in there, he was originally from Oakley. Now he's moved up in the mountains and living up there. But um, Vallejo Coin Exchange and Martinez Coin Exchange, we got we got definitely a bunch of partners that live right around here. Um, Gary Silva lives in Harold and, and with Gary Silva Ranches. So it, it's definitely going to be a pretty packed house of uh, Bloomfield family, I guess, and sponsors. So it'll be pretty cool to uh, be racing in front of a bunch of family and friends and sponsors and uh, shoot, maybe even new fans. Who knows? So I'm excited. Well, Chase Johnson ready to rumble. It's coming Saturday, Antioch Speedway. And Chase, uh, Antioch Speedway, if I want to think correctly, last year was your first time in a 410 at that facility, and it wound up not too bad of a finish. Yeah, um, I'm looking forward to going to Antioch. You know, we, we have, we have um, you know, a good amount, but not, not a lot of races close by us. So anytime we can be close to home is good. You know, Toyota Walnut Creek is 20 miles down the road. So it's a, it's a big event for them. So we're going to have a bunch of employees and, and fans and um, should be a good time at Antioch. Like I said, um, we've got Toyota Walnut Creek 20 miles down the road. We actually have a sprint car sitting there right now and we'll have it sitting there for, over the weekend and um also got like a little video game set up there too so people can also play as the 24 car so you can go over there you can sit in the car um play and i'll also be there friday from 11 to 1 so you know we we try to the races that are close to the dealerships we try to make a big deal out of it really ends up helping helping everybody and um yeah like i said we're looking forward to having employees and stuff out there that's that's really what what makes everything great is we can get employees and fans to you know come out to the racetrack racetrack come out to the dealership um and it it makes for a great stop for fans coming to Antioch they want to leave a little bit earlier and swing by the dealership see the sprint car sit in the sprint car and play some video games see some friendly people and um see what all Toyota Walnut Creek has to offer with all their new cars, new and used cars. So, um, but yeah, Antioch's fun. It's been a great track. Um, they put a lot of work into to making it a, a good track. And so, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm looking forward to being there. Well, and I think it's just a brilliant marketing uh, strategy you guys have put together because it brings in people that maybe not in their wildest dreams they would ever see a sprint car let alone touch it or sit in it and it's great it's like a grassroots campaign of getting people involved in the local racing scene yeah it's great um i absolutely love working with the the dealerships and our our connection and sponsorship with price family dealerships has been great to work with them we've got a a lot of creativity going on and a lot of cool and different ideas and you know giving giving back to the sponsors that help us um you know it's a lot of what we do is off the track um that makes it valuable to our sponsors so it's a it's a good effort and like like i said to match it up with the events and with the where narc goes you know basically we we hit the closest dealership by there you know with them going to petaluma we'll be at the toyota marin location and then also when we're at watsonville we'll be at the toyota sunnyville location so uh and like you said it's also great uh cross promotion too for narc you know we get to have a sprint car out in the community and you know get to have people that potentially would never see a sprint car race you know see the sprint car sitting there inside the showroom floor and you know ask questions about it or 
see our schedule that we have sitting by there and, you know, possibly see them at the racetrack on Saturday. So that's, that's always really great to do. And also, like you said, bring people that potentially won't ever see a sprint car. And now they see one sitting in their local Toyota showroom four. So it's, uh, it's great. Like I said, it's great for the, the racetrack. It's great for, um, NAR, great for myself and great for our sponsors. So it benefits everybody. And, uh, we're proud to do it. It's fun, it, and it's fun too. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, like I said, it's something I'm proud of. That's for sure. Well, Joey Ancona going to be returning to Antioch Speedway with the NARC 410 series for the Contra County Clash. And Joey, last year, you guys had a really fast piece. You guys, you guys won the pole via the trophy dash and led some laps and uh, wound up on the podium. I know that you'd like a similar result, if not better result, this coming Saturday. Yeah, definitely. Um, you could say I was pretty much still, uh, you know, getting used to the 410 stuff. I think that was only my fifth or sixth race in it. So uh, I got a little bit more experience now. Um, it's cool to be going back to Antioch. Uh, the track was great last year, really. Um, and, yeah, I was kind of just in a rhythm. It's only our second race out uh, this year, just kind of, you know, haven't had our motors back, just been a little behind the eight ball. And uh, But hopefully uh, we'll have a lot of support and we'll uh, do good in front of our hometown. I was going to say, um, you know, home track for you, to have all that support there for for people to cheer you on and the – you know, a lot of local support for sponsorship and marketing with your guys' race team. That's just got to feel amazing. Yeah, uh, it's really cool. Uh, I think it's cool for the fans, too, you know, hearing um, of somebody, you know, being from so close and uh, actually being out there and competing. Um, I remember, you know, sitting in the stands as a kid uh, watching uh, NARC and, you know, the Outlaws used to come there. And it was cool. It just, um, it's a whole different level to me. Um, it's a track that I really want to be good at. You know, I've just had so many memories there. And, uh, yeah, it's awesome. You know, last year when we uh, we won the dash and, you know, got out and, you know, you have to do the interview on the front stretch. And, you know, there's a lot of cheers. So it was cool. I kind of felt, you know, I let the fans down a little bit, led some laps there and just um, have fun and fell back a little bit. But we are able to rebound, you know, still finish on the podium. But, yeah, you know, I want to be a – few places better and uh, hopefully pick up the win and who are some of the people that are helping you in 2024 uh we got it's a lot of the same people dry coat construction railroad powder coating victory fuel um let's see who's swindell speed lab packer king chalk rider racing engines um yeah you know just a lot of the same people uh, a lot of great people on our car a lot of great people on our crew you know my dad my mom um they support me a ton uh, Ryan Timmons comes out and helps us, you know, whenever he's not racing. So brings good energy and, um, yeah, I just want to do the best I can for them. Well, race fans, that does it for this interview. We hope you enjoyed it and we hope that you continue to enjoy these upcoming interviews. We appreciate it. If you would like and subscribe wherever you're listening, whether it's on Spotify, iTunes, YouTube, wherever it's at, give us a like. And give us a subscription so that we can deliver more of these great interviews to you for your listening pleasure. In the meantime, wherever we're at, wherever you're listening, we hope you have a great rest of your day and a pleasant evening. And we will see you soon here at High Side Racing Promotions.